Well, hello there, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell, I have a big old bag of some Bath & Body Works stuff here to share with you. Look at this bag, by the way. How cute is that? I love the red truck with the Christmas tree in the back. So cute. But I, today, went to my Bath & Body Works um, store, you know, local to me, to pick up a lot of the body care from the $4.95 body care sale. And so this was a really great deal. I thought about not going because I thought that probably most of the stuff that I was interested in picking up, I could pick up at the semi-annual sale. But I kind of got the urge um, and there were some things that I really wanted that wouldn't necessarily be on sale at the semi-annual sale. And then I had a gift card from my birthday in October that I still had not used yet. So that is gone. <laughs> I used all of that on this purchase. And so I'm really excited to share with you what I got. So I have 12 body care items here. So I'll just pull this to the side and we'll start just digging into the bag. So the first thing I got, I've already used, so don't judge me <laughs> for it being partially used, but I picked up one of the aromatherapy stress relief eucalyptus and spearmint um, bubble baths. So one of these like bath, um, you know, bubble bath things. I don't know what am I trying to say? Bubble bath. Oh my God. Anyway, uh, I have been really into like the idea of like mint and menthol and spearmint and just kind of like invigorating shower products. I don't normally pick up much of the aromatherapy stuff, but for $4.95, this is definitely the best time to do it. So I got one of those. I used that in a bath tonight and I didn't love it. I felt like I used a lot of the product and didn't get that many bubbles out of it, but maybe I'm just being kind of picky. But anyway, I picked that up. Kind of on that same line of invigorating products though, I got a Twister Peppermint shower gel. I don't know what it, what it is about this right now, but I'm just into that invigorating minty kind of leave you feeling like super refreshed product. So I got the shower gel and then somewhere in this bag, let's see. Yep. Here we go. Is also the body cream. So I got both of those. Twisted peppermint is not a scent that I normally go for. Um, when I've used it in the past, I've actually used it a lot in the summertime just because it feels really great when your skin has had maybe a little too much sun. I don't know. It can just be kind of really refreshing. So I might use that this winter. I might save it for the summer, but I'm glad to at least have um, one item of it. Next, I purchased like a bunch of the like hand creams and different little things like that. Things that are definitely more expensive that um, I don't think necessarily would be at the semi-annual sale. So the first thing I got was this larger paraffin hand nail and cuticle hand cream. So I have had this in a smaller size. So the size that all of their kind of hand lotions come in and really loved it. Um, their paraffin hand creams are really nice. And so when I saw this size for, you know, $4.95, I had to get it. So this retails for $14.50. So I thought that was a really good, a good deal. Let me tell you though, I'm going to be stocked up on hand creams. So I got that one. I also got this super soft foot cream, which I thought was interesting. I have a foot cream right now that I'm using from Bath and Body, but I thought I would pick this up and this was $16.50. And so I feel like these products and the aromatherapy, that's when you're really getting a good deal. Now that you're not getting a deal on these signature items, it is a good deal, but these especially is when you you know, those big money savers. And then I got these two products that are pretty much essentially the same, but I didn't know which one I wanted. So the Shea Butter Hand Cream is again, a larger size of a product that they have in the smaller hand cream size. Um, and I've used that and liked it. So I picked up the larger one and then I found this laid on thick hand cream in Shea Butter. So anyway, I got both of those, which is probably overkill. Let's see, these are, this one is $16.50 and this one was $14.50. So yeah, definitely overkill maybe on the hand and, you know, kind of foot lotion here. But I just, when you go into that store, especially when there's a good deal like that, you know, you've got like a 10 off of 30. Sometimes you just black out 
and you just throw everything into your bag and you don't really think about what happened or realize what happened until you get home and really look at everything. So I probably could have made some hard decisions here, but that's okay. I'll be stocked up. I also picked up a fine fragrance mist. I try to really stay away from these just because the sheer amount of fragrance mist and perfume and stuff I have in general. Um, I am going to do a Bath and Body Works collection video here coming up, so stay tuned for that. It's been a while since I've updated, and I feel like my collection is vastly different since the last time I did one. But in any case, I try to stay away from fine fragrance mist, but I decided for the price that I would pick up an Into the Night. So I recently did a review on this. I picked up the hand cream in this scent. And while this is not a scent that I would no normally like go for or be like super, super attracted to, it's so unique and I don't have anything like it. And I thought it would be a great, just like nighttime, sexy, uh, you know, type of fragrance. So I got that just for that purpose. I just feel like it's so different from anything that I have and could be just a great change from my normal like fruity type scents. So I picked up that and I just think that bottle is beautiful and I love how um, like the spray is black, like the nozzle here is black and everything is just still looks so, you know, New Year's Eve and, and festive. So I got that. Let's see what else is in this bag. One more aromatherapy item. Like I said, I don't normally purchase aromatherapy, but for some reason I was feeling it today. I got a shower gel in sleep, which is lavender and vanilla to me. Um, let's see, what does it smell like? It's like kind of an herbal lavender, but you get the little bit of vanilla too. This is probably not a shower gel that I would want to use like consistently on a day-to-day -day basis, but maybe if I'm just like really need to kind of relax, um, just kind of take some stress away, you know, I maybe, you know, help me sleep. I thought that would be nice. So I picked up one of those. And then lastly are three ultra shea body cream so not that i need any ultra shea body creams by any sense of the imagination but i also feel like for this price you know i wanted to pick them up um pretty polka dots or brenda recently commented on one of my videos and mentioned about putting body creams in the fridge to keep them um like good has anybody else ever had experience with that i'm intrigued about what the kind of consistency of your body creams are after you put them in the fridge. Does it change it in any way? Because I think I have enough now that it, potentially some of them could be concerning. Um, and so I might want to, you know, do that. But I picked up a hot cocoa and cream. So let's see, creamy cocoa, mini marshmallows, and vanilla musk. I did not have any of this last year, so I wanted to at least try the hot cocoa and cream body care. I also picked up the body cream and Christmas cookies. And so this was one at Candle Day when I had a free item coupon that I kind of wish I would have gotten this, but I went for the bright lemon snowdrop, or I think that's what it's called instead. So I picked this one up. This is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel mood. Is that what that says? Wood. Oh my goodness. I am like just wood. Sometimes it's hard to read through like the camera. Anyway, so I thought that one sounded super, super nice. And then the last item I have is another body cream is one in Vanilla Bean Noel. So I am currently using a Vanilla Bean Noel Ultra Shade Body Cream and Shower Gel. And you guys, I have been just obsessed with it. I have never been a vanilla bean Noel person in the past, but for some reason this year, I'm really, really into it. So I felt the urge to pick up another one. I almost picked up a shower gel and a fine fragrance mist, and I thought, no, that's too much. Just get, <laughs> just get another ultra shade body cream and call it good. But I picked up one of those too, just because I felt like I had to have it. But that is everything. That's everything that I picked up from the $4.95 a body care sale. This was a really great deal. I'm, you know, super excited about this. My store opened at like 7 a.m. I got there at like 8.30 and it wasn't crazy at all. There's it was definitely busy, but it wasn't it wasn't crazy. So did you guys go to the sale? Did you pick up anything? I would love to know. But that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.